Hi, I'm DYC1000, and for today's lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to chop samples using the playhead within Logic 8. The first thing you want to do is load up an EXS24 sampler, choose multi output. Secondly, you want to locate the audio, audio you're going to sample. For today's lesson, we're going to, we're going to sample an, uh, an Apple loop. Drag your uh, your sample into your arrangement window. And there's your audio file. Secondly, choose your audio file. And click, click on uh, play. And as the playhead is moving, you want to hit the forward slash button, which is located over the return button under the delete button and it'll create a chop each time you hit that, that button. Next thing you wanna do is go back to your EXS24 sampler. Click on the edit button on, your EX, on the surface of your EXS24 sampler instrument and it brings up a piano roll what you want to do is basically highlight all the area, the area that you, you're going to sample from in your audio, drag it into your EXS24 sampler instrument, and it's going to say, do you want to uh, load it as a contiguous, contiguous zones? Basically map it across your keyboard, and yes you do. Click OK, and now you have your samples loaded on your keyboard. Now you see how the sample, every time I hit another key, it's running over itself. So what you want to do is highlight the samples, drag it down to where it says zones, and it's going to create a group. And basically all, this, all the samples that we just created are assigned to group one now that we have highlighted them and dragged them under here. The next thing you want to do is highlight group one, select groups, which is right next to zones, and click on polyphony. Basically, polyphony is right under voices. And what uh, polyphony means is basically the number of sounds that are triggered at a time. So each time another sound is triggered, it'll cut off the other sound previous to it. You want to choose one. Change the poly to one. And now that we now we go back to where it says zones. And now when we trigger our sample, only one sound plays at a time. Now lastly, we want to save our, our instrument so we can use it in our project or another project. We just close it out. As a default, it says you want to save the changes, changes you have made to your instrument and depending on what number it is. And, it, and of course you do, so you click on save. Now I recommend that when you're saving your instrument that you assign it to a, a, a group that you can easily recognize and pull it up for a later uh, date. To do that, you would go to create new folder and just name it whatever you want to name it to remember it. If it's hip hop, name it hip hop. If it's rock, name it rock. Or if you have a certain period of time, 80s music, 90s music, or whatever. Basically, we're going to name this a Dice 1000, DYC 1000 tutorial. Next, we still haven't saved our instrument. This is this is just a folder it's assigned to. So we're gonna name this uh, since I it's named Africa. I'm gonna name it Africa samples. And click on save. Now you don't have to do that every time you create the instrument. I just did that because this is the first time I'm, I've created that bank. Now, when we click on our EXS24 sampler, caps lock keyboard, or any or our MIDI keyboard, or whatever keyboard we have, we have our samples. Another quick shortcut, if you don't want to go to polyphony, on the surface of your EXS24 sampler, there's an area that says legato, mono, and poly. 
If you click on mono, this will allow your samples to be triggered one sound at a time as well. Basically, this is uh, dealing, dealing with uh, polyphony, and basically mono means one sound at a time.